Right now we have our drag and drop functionality and our UI is connected through the controller to our uh, inventory model. So it would be a good time to simply start uh, implementing the remaining parts or remaining methods of our inventory SO to make it into a working data structure that can reliably store our items. So let's select our scripts model folder and let's open inventory SO script. Okay, so right now we have our inventory item struct and I have told you that we are going to check if this is empty, but we have the access to the item SO. And the item SO has this ID that allows us to check if we have this type of item in our inventory or not. Uh, also, we have this is stackable flag that allows us to define if the item is stackable like our apples are stackable. So what we want to do is we want to implement the functionality in our inventory SO so that when we add the item, we are going to verify if this is stackable or not. If it is, we are going to try to stack it on the already existing item stack. If this is non-stackable, we are going to only then find the first empty slot and put the item that is non-stackable there. So let's find our add item method. And basically what we need to check is if our item is stackable. If this is equal to false, then we know that basically we want to do what we are doing currently. Else, mainly we want to add stackable items. So we are going to, uh, we maybe we know that what can happen is we are adding the item and the inventory is full. We can only put so much of this item before we are out of the inventory space. If that's the case, maybe some part of this item will stay unassigned. So what we can do is we can create quantity. So we are going to reuse the same int value here because basically we want to put 10 apples, but we have only space for five. So we want to return the five remaining apples, for example, for us to uh, put back the five apples into the item that is existing in the world. So we know that we cannot put more apples into our inventory. We cannot pick it up, but we want to pick up as much apples as we can before we leave the rest behind. So that's what we are going to do. We are going to assign the quantity to add stackable item. And we are going to pass here item to this method. And we're going to pass the quantity. So the initial quantity. So right click quick actions and generate this method at the same time we also want to always update our ui so in case our ui is showing we want to update it uh, with the item that is added in case we are adding the item when we have the inventory open so we want to call inform about change the method that we have already created and we want to return in value here so we want to return the quantity so at the end we are going to return quantity okay now what happens if we have the non-stackable item so far we have looped through each item and we have found the empty space and we have returned at this point what we want to do first is we want to check if is inventory full because we know that our non-stackable item needs to be placed somewhere in our inventory. If we have a full inventory, so no empty spaces, we can simply return the quantity, the initial quantity, so that we know that we cannot place or pick up this item. So right click on this inventory full quick actions and generate it. One more thing that we haven't covered is that the quantity might be greater than one for a non-stackable item. So we are picking up five swords. So we need to place all those five swords. So basically what we are going to do is do it one by one. So we are going to create while. And we are going to uh, call while quantity is greater than zero. And we are going to, after every um, time we add item to our inventory, we are going to check is inventory full. If this is false, we are going to perform the logic of adding items to our inventory. So let's select this uh, code that we have the bef uh, beforehand. Let's control X to cut it. And basically uh, we want to return quantity because we always want to uh, return the quantity if we uh, don't have enough space. And actually I think that this while would cover this if statement because basically we are checking this twice. So let's remove this if statement, sorry about this. Okay, so we are checking if inventory is full 
and this is true we are going to stop this loop and we are going to return now of course we want to always inform about change because we may have assigned one or two items from those five source we may have taken two and the remainder is uh, returned as a quantity back to the method that has called this add item method so the last thing that we are going to have is this while loop and in this while loop we need to call add non-stackable item and since we know that non-stackable items are defined by the, there is only one of those basically that is our assumption that we, every non-stackable item has uh, the capacity of one basically what I want to pass here is item the one so the value of the quantity uh, so that we can easily modify this code to amount for a non-stackable item that has a greater quantity than one and we are going to call uh, pass here the or actually for now that will be it and we want to call quantity minus one minus since we are passing one here but of course if you would like to pass more you would have to modify this as well okay right click on this quick actions and generate this method and this is how our add item method will look like so let's slide it down and first method that we have is add non-stackable item and actually what can happen here is that we are not going to find the empty space so instead of returning void we may want to return int here and instead of removing quantity minus minus we may want to remove here the value so quantity minus equals and we are going to return this int here so let's call this int quantity okay and let me paste the code here so what we are going to do here is create inventory item new item equals new inventory item and we need to pass here the item equals the item quantity equals the quantity this is the item that we want to add and we are going to look for each i equals zero i less than inventory items dot count i plus plus so what we have done beforehand we are going to check if inventory items is empty so this is the code that we have cut from the previous method we're going to assign the, this new item on this uh, to this slot and we are going to return the quantity so we have added this amount to our uh, inventory else we are going to return zero we haven't found anything any um, empty slot to add this item so this will be our add a non-stackable item let's slide it down now we need to have uh, the inventory is inventory full implementation okay so instead of those parentheses we can create question uh, the lambda expression so equals and greater sign and what we can do is check inventory items so this is our list and we are going to use links library we are going to type where, where. so right uh, alt enter or right click on this quick actions and you will be able to say using system.link link is a library that allows us to really easily loop for it uh, for items in the collection without having to type all the for each loop and so on so we are going to open parentheses and we have this definition we need to pass a func so this is the delegate that returns the value so we want to type item so we are going to get each item we are going to look for each item in this list of inventory items so this will be uh, in our for each loop this would be the statement to get the item on this position so item another lambda expression and we need to do the, something with it we need to type check if the item is empty so we want to get all the items from our inventory items where item is empty so if we have 20 items and 10 are empty we are going to get the 10 that are empty as a return value and this will be i enumerable of inventory items and we want to check dot any so we are going to check if there is an item on in this an i enumerable list if this is empty then then this means that the inventory is full so if there are no empty items this means that the inventory is full so we're going to check if this equals to false if this is false this means that the inventory is full so we are going to return true because false equals false we are going to return true and this should work as expected okay last thing that we have is the add stackable item so here we need to what we need to do is basically find all items that are of the same type but since we need the index we need to use the default for loop for i equals zero i less than inventory items dot count and i plus plus so we are going to look for each item if our inventory item with number uh, with the index i is empty 
then there is no chance that this is the same item as we are looking for so we are going to simply continue if our inventory items i uh, we are going to check if this dot item dot id is the same as our item from the parameter here of this method dot id now here the code will get a bit more uh, difficult but uh, what we want to do is int uh, cal calculate the amount of possible items that the uh, this instance can take so if we have 98 items of type apple in this slot we can only take one more so basically int amount possible to take equals the inventory uh, with the index i item and max stack size so 99 apples minus inventory items i quantity so 99 minus 19 would be one and this would be the result so basically we are calculating here how many of those items can we still take on this slot before we need to create another slot and take uh, the uh, remainder of the apples into another slot so what we are going to do is check if quantity that we have here is greater than the amount possible to take this means that we have more items that we can possibly put in the slot we are going to set inventory items i so this is the slot and as i have mentioned before we cannot really uh, modify the item or the quantity of the inventory item we need to create a new one that's why we have created this public inventory item change quantity method that takes in the same item reference but modifies the quantity so that's what we are using here so we are going to set this uh, slot on our list of items to be inventory item i change quantity and we are going to pass the max stack size since we have defined that the quantity is greater than the amount possible to take so now we have maxed out this item uh, as uh, for how much it can take because it, has, it now contains the max stack size number of items but what we need to check is the quantity so quantity is minus equals the amount possible to take so this is this um, value that we've calculated here so we have this one item for example that one apple that we could take to our 98 apples uh, that are already there to fill in the stack to the max so this will be the quantity minus this one apple in this case so if we have this remaining quantity we are going to basically return it but there is a chance also that we have another item of this type in our inventory so we are going to modify the quantity the this parameter of the um, method so we are modifying this instead of creating a new one because we are going to still continue looping and adding those items before we decide okay we need to create a new slot and put the remaining items into a new slot but the other option is that the quantity is less or equal the amount that is possible to take and this will mean that we can take all the items into this slot so we are going to have else inventory items i equals inventory items i change quantity and we are going to simply add quantity plus the quantity that we need to add and we are going to fill in this uh, one item with all the items that we need to stack and we are going to inform about the change and return okay so one thing that we need to do is simply to check after we loop for each item so at the end of this for loop we need to check while because this will mean that the quantity is still greater than zero while quantity is greater than zero this is the same that we have typed above uh, to add the items so this is the same while loop so while quantity is greater than zero and we are going to check is inventory full equals false while this is so we are going to calculate int new quantity equals and we need to math f dot clamp the quantity of course we need to have it between zero and item uh, dot max stack size if we want to apple add 200 apples then one slot can only take the max stack size which is 99 so basically what we are going to do is quantity minus equals this new quantity so we are going to reduce this 200 minus 99 that we can add and we are going to call add item uh, add stackable item or i think we have called it add non-stackable item but that is not necessarily the best name here and we need to pass the item and we need to pass the new quantity okay so maybe let's right click on this and rename this method and we are going to call add item to first free slot 
so this will be the name of this method instead of this non-stackable item because what it does basically is create a new item and adds it to the first empty slot so this is a good name for it and we are going to again while uh, loop in the while loop until we find out that the inventory is full or the quantity is less or equal to zero in that case we are going to return quantity if this is zero then this is zero if the inventory is full then the quantity might be still greater than zero and we need to leave some of this item behind okay i know this was a lot of code but basically i uh, wanted to make this uh, data structure as um, uh, bulletproof as possible so we can actually return the data and we can add the data correctly to our uh, data structure to our list so uh, we have the, all those methods that are required to simply add the item to our inventory of course again this uh, code will be available on github if you want to take a look at it if you have some issue with copying the code here you may want to go there and check the or verify your code against mine and let's finish right now and in the next video we are going to actually test this adding stackable and non-stackable items functionalities for now that is it let me know what you think down in the comments and if you are enjoying this video subscribe uh, leave a like it will help me a lot. See you in the next video.